kids in grade 6, welcome to our virtual math class. I am Ma'am Kat. I will be your math teacher for this lesson. Hope you enjoy our lesson. Join me as we discuss Math 6, Second Quarter, Week 5, which is all about describing and giving values to number expressed in exponential form. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand the exponent and base in the number expresses in exponential form. You know, let's evaluate the given numbers in our board. The first number is, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to, yes, you're right, it is equal to 16. Then we have the second number. We have 5 times 5 times 5. The answer is correct, and that is 125. This example is, we have 6 times 6. The answer is correct, and that is 36. What if we have to write a certain number 20 times to itself? Or a certain number 50 times to itself? That is a very long writing. Or even writing the distance of Earth from the Sun and that is 149 million 600 kilometers. Is there an easy way to write these numbers? Yes, fortunately there is, and that is true exponential form. Now, if you want to learn about exponential form, just watch this video until the end. It will tell you all about the exponential form. Exponent is a number that gives power to which base is raised. Example we have here, 4 squared. 2 is our exponent and 4 is our base. An exponent also determines how many times you multiply a number by itself. Let's have an example. Let's evaluate 2 raised to the fifth power. Let's identify the base and exponent in our example. 2 is our base and 5 is our exponent. And that means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. Or you multiply 2 5 times to itself, and that is equal to 32. There is a common error of the student when evaluating the exponent, and that is a very common error. They multiply the base and the exponent, and that is very wrong. Now, again, exponent tells you how many times you multiply the base by itself. Let's have another example. Let's evaluate 7 raised to the 4th power. 7 is our base and 4 is our exponent. That means multiplying 7 4 times to itself and that is 7 times 7 times 7 and times 7. And that is equal to 2,401. Let's take a look of these two examples. The first given is written inside the parentheses, and that is quantity negative 5 squared. The base for this exponential form is negative 5, and the exponent is 2. And to write this in expanded form, we have negative 5 times negative 5. The answer is positive 25. While in this example, it is not written inside the parentheses. So we have here negative 5 squared. And the base for this example is 5. And the exponent is 2. And to get the value of this exponential form, we have 5 times 5 is 25. And then affix the negative symbol so the answer is 
negative 25. So that is the difference between a negative number written inside the parentheses and a negative number which, which is not written inside the parentheses. What if we have 1 as our exponent? Look at this example. Let's evaluate 9 raised to the first power. 9 is our base and 1 is our exponent. And that means 9. So, any number raised to 1 is equal to the number itself. Now, let's have an activity. Look at this table. I have this table where in the given or in the exponential form. What you are going to do is to identify the base, exponent, and write it in expanded form. The first given is 8 raised to the fifth power. And the second given is 17 cubed. Now, I'll give you time to answer or to complete this table. You have five minutes to do this activity. Time's up. These are the answers for your activity. We have the first base is 8 and the exponent is 5 and it is written in expanded form 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. And then the second given, our base is 17 and our exponent is 3. And it is written as 17 times 17 times 17. Hope you got the correct answers. Good job, students. Now, let's know more. What if our exponent is 0? Now, let's take a look of these examples. Example we have here, 9 raised to 0. And that is equal to 1. What if we have 14 raised to 0? And that is also equal to 1 also. What if we have 9,999 raised to 0? Base with any value of positive integers but not equal to 0, that is raised to 0 is equal to 1. What if our base is 10? Example, we have 10 raised to 0, 10 raised to the first power, 10 squared, 10 cubed, or, or 10 raised to the fourth power. The answers are 1, 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. Look at these answers. What have you noticed? You have noticed that the value of the exponent when the base is 10 will determine the number of zeros to its answer. That is why if the base is 10 and the exponent is 4, there are 4 zeros in the answer. Let's do another activity. I have here a table. What we're going to do is to complete the table and evaluate the following exponential form. Now, I'll give you three minutes to do this activity. The answer for this activity. Number two, we have 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, and that is 262,144. We have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 81. We have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 and times negative 2, that is equal to negative 32. And the last is 
1,048,576. Now let's have a recap if you have learned something from this video. What is exponent? Exponent is a number that tells you how many times you multiply the base by itself. And what is base? Base is a number we use as a factor when evaluating an exponential form. Now let's do your final activity. What you are going to do is to look for the answer of these given to this column. Now you are going to write the letter of the correct answer before each number. I'll give you five minutes to do this activity. today again i'm your mom cat your math teacher and i will give you this saying i will not tell you the answer but i'll give you the way to find the answer goodbye thank you